I'm John Gonzalez, sports columnist for the Inquirer. I love Philly and I love getting out in the city when I'm off the clock. Hey, I'm John Gonzalez and this is Colleen Wolf and we're here at Prohibition Tap Room at 13th and Buttonwood right here in Philadelphia. Every bar has a signature cocktail, so today we decided to make one of our own. Our bartender Jillian took us in and showed us how anyone can make Prohibition's cocktail, starting with a man classic, the Slow Gin Fizz. I hear it's big with the Teamsters. All right, so the way a Slow Gin Fizz works, start with a nice gin for the most part. Slow Gin, which is actually very hard to find these days and actually didn't become popular again until the whole cocktail scene has actually kind of resurged. Now this is the key actually to the Slow Gin Fizz, which is the egg white. Pretty good. Yeah. That's good gin easy. fizz. <laughs> All right, so we got to see you, Jillian, make some of Prohibition's signature drinks, but we've been thinking about maybe getting ours added to the list. All right. When I'm out of the bar, I know exactly what I like, booze. With my signature cocktail, I went straight for the good stuff. We're going to start with rye whiskey because everything's better with whiskey, so we're going to put in a healthy pour of that. And then we're going to get some Benedictine, which is uh, a cherry flavored juice. Well, I'm impressed. How put did some you know of that, that in so there. Oh, you know, I may or may not have read about it. It's <laughs> going to be fine. We'll put some lime juice because uh, it's got a little green flavor That's tint to wine. it. And some bitters. So we'll splash some bitters in there. And there you go. You're ready to rock. The bitters at the end with the lime juice makes it the Eagle season. Hmm? Anybody? Eagle season? Colleen and I can be a little competitive, and when she said she wanted to make a drink too, we knew there had to be a winner. Her drink combined two of her favorites, a dirty martini and a bloody mary. Oh my god, so good. Do you mind if I try? So good. All right, it's time for the taste test. We have our judge and bartender, Jillian, who's going to declare a winner in this contest. We have mine, which was uh, named the Eagle Season. Colleen's, which is called? The Dirty Mary. The Dirty Mary. So there you go. It's time like to taste. That. OK. <laughs> and then... That's about what you get after uh, the Eagle Season. You need a stiff drink. Well, I'm a diehard Eagles fan, mm -hmm. but uh, you know I really love brunch drinks, so I'm going to say that uh, Colleen is the winner. Oh, that's yes. garbage. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have All any right. pride to wound. This win is under protest. Colleen had help from the bartender. I'm appealing the ruling to the uh, International Drink Federation. There's one of those, right? So next time you're at Prohibition Tap Room, ask for the Dirty Mary, because that's the drink that won. Ah, oh, I need a drink now. For Colleen Wolf, I'm John Gonzalez. We'll see you around the city on Philly.com.